Culture Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hi everyone. Today, I'm going to paint. Oh, are you going to paint walls? No, I'm going to paint pictures with June. Yay! The paintings are for the Spring Festival. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Betty! Toto, what are you up to? Oh, I see. And you made it out of an old newspaper. What a clever idea. Ooh, you know who would love this too? June! Let's bring it along to show her. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Oh, Moa. June, what's going on? I'm clearing all this old stuff out of the shed. Yes, and making a great big mess. Dr. Panda and I are painting today. I need some space to store my paints in the shed afterwards. Hmm, but it looks like you're throwing perfectly good things away. What's wrong with this bucket? A bucket without a bottom isn't much use. Oh! You're not throwing away my tennis racket, are you? I oh, have such lovely memories of that. No strings, see? Hmm. Well, I'm sure it could be useful for something. I doubt it. Anyway, make sure you get everything tidied away by the end of the day. I love it when the garden's nice and tidy. I know. You've told me lots of times. Oh. Hi, June! Dr. Panda, you've arrived at the perfect time. I've just finished clearing all this old stuff out from the shed. Great! Are we painting in the shed, then? Oh, no. We're going to paint outside, where there's lots of lovely nature to look at. It can give us an idea of what to paint. Oh, uh, I heard it was going to rain today. There's not a cloud to be seen. No clouds, no rain. So now all we have to do is decide what to paint. Hmm. Oh, Toto, did you make that? <laughs> it's beautiful. And just what we need. We can paint birds and clouds for our festival decorations. Oh, that's a clever idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold back, Dr. Panda. Let your paintbrush run free. Right, I'm painting a cloud. June, we better get these paintings under cover. It's going to rain. What? Oh no, our paintings. No worries, we can protect them with this. Or not. Quick, let's shelter in the shed. Colors are one big mess. What are we going to do now? I need to have the decorations ready for the spring festival. Why don't we do some more painting inside? <sighs> but there's nothing to look at inside. No nature at all, only brick walls and old stuff. Mm, at least these colors look pretty all mixed together. Yes, but no one will recognize them as birds. Hey, what if we turn our paintings into something new, just like Toto did? You mean, take these paintings and make new bird decorations out of them? 
Exactly! What a clever idea! Well done, Toto! <laughs> and maybe we can use some of the stuff that you're throwing away. You know, old to new. Yes! That's a great idea! Let's get to it! tennis racket. <laughs> These decorations look awesome, June. Yes, thanks to you. And Toto's clever ideas. Let's load them in the truck, then. Huh? Where's Toto? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that tennis ball makes you look like a clown, Toto. <laughs> hey, maybe we could do a circus act together. Yeah! We have to get to the festival now, but that'll be an adventure for another day. See you later! Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you, what are you going, going to, to do today? today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a potter. What does a potter do? Well, I take clay and I turn it into dishes like this one. <laughs> wow. wow! I'm going to make lots more of these. And I... <laughs> Phew! That was close, Toto. <laughs> Hi, Moo. Dr. Panda, hello. My plates and cups and bowls, the ones I ordered, are they ready? They certainly are, Moo. All handmade and totally unique. I want them to be different from what everyone else has. I'm sure you'll like them, Moo. I'll bring them around to the farm later. Oh, oh thank goodness. I need them more than ever now, Dr. Panda. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Moo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Oh, can I have a go at the wishy spinning wheel? Can I please? <laughs> sure. Let me show you how to do it. So. You get the wheel turning at a nice, steady speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow. Got it. You take your ball of clay and put it in the middle. There. In the middle there. Now, you start to shape the clay as it spins. Just use your fingers and don't forget to add a little water. Use your water and add little fingers. Whoa. <gasps> you made a bowl. Yep. Next, we have to bake it in the special pottery oven. Dr. Panda! Oh, Dr. Panda! Oh, I think I've got a customer. I'll be back in a bit. I have lots of things to make today. Sure thing, Dr. Panda! Lots of water, not too slow. Good morning, Richie. No, it's not a good morning at all. You see, I dropped my favorite blue mug. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's find you a new one. Uh, oh, what about this? No good, Dr. Panda. That's red. My lunch plate is blue. My dinner plate is blue. My breakfast bowl is blue. My water jug is... Let me guess. Blue? Richie, not everything has to match. You could get different colored things. Oh, that bowl is lovely. And I'd like to look at that jug too, please. No problem. How's it going, Dr. Panda? Great, but I really need to make some more dishes as soon as I've finished with these customers. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. I've got the hang of it. Speed, water, plenty of fingers. Uh, okay, thanks. Hiya, Dr. P. I need a plate. A big plate. Well, you've come to the right place, Bip. Uh, ooh, that one. So sweet. Would you like to buy it, Bip? I have to test it first. Uh, wh wh what do you mean, test it? Uh, I need to practice my juggling skills. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Do you have a vase, 
to go with these. to get these in the oven, Toto. Ah, there you go, Olette. Uh, uh, please be careful, Bip. Being as careful as I can, Dr. Banda. Uh, don't you think that plate could break if you do that? Uh, oh, yeah. That's why I need a new one. Olette is right. I'll have an orange. No. Green lunch plate. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, a red, no, a orange dinner plate. And a, um, uh, let me think. Uh, 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 Excuse me, please. Hoopa! Hoopa! Can you bring some more dishes through? I'm running out. No problem, Dr. Panda. I just made a load of new ones. Oh, wait. They aren't ready yet. Any dishes in here? Yes! Coming, Dr. Panda! to do is deliver Moo's dishes to the farm. Uh, where are Moo's dishes, Hoopa? Oh, those dishes were for Moo? I didn't know. Wait, did you bring them through to the store? Yep. <gasps> oh, I think you might have sold them, Dr. Panda. Oh, no worries. We'll just have to make some more. Yeah, we're also out of clay. But that's not a problem, because I made lots of new dishes. And they're done! Ta-da! So, what do you think? Um, I don't think this is what Moo was expecting. You don't? You don't like them? No, no, I, I, I do! <laughs> And you know what? I think Moo is going to love them, too. This is a double egg holder, see? This bowl rocks, so it can't be tipped over. <laughs> That's so clever. And these plates are for odd-shaped foods, like, like carrots and bananas. I made that. And this one lets chickens eat corn more easily. It's perfect. Thank you, Hooper. Thank you, Dr. Pander. You were right. No one else has anything like this. Oh, that was a great idea you gave me with your toy cars, Toto. <laughs> oh, your car needs a repair, does it? <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. Panda. What, what are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, my job is to make a sculpture out of ice. Wow. wow. Oh, cool. Yep. Moo wants an ice sculpture for the opening of her ice pop cart. Hey, Toto. Good thinking. You can make sandcastles in the sand pit while I'm making the ice sculpture. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, Moo. Hi, Dr. Pander. Are you ready to get to work? I've put the ice in the shade so it doesn't melt. There you go. Do you know what you're going to make yet? Yep, but it's a surprise. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Well, I'd better go and make those ice pops. They won't make themselves. And make sure you keep the ice in the shade or it will melt and that will be a disaster. No problem. By the time you get back, I'll be finished.
Toto, that looks great. I've just finished my ice sculpture. Want to see what I've made? Uh huh. <gasps> wow! Chicken! That's right. It's a chicken. Do you like it? <laughs> wow! What happened? Oh, hi, Hoopa. What if most chickens has turned to ice? No, no. I made it out of a block of ice. Oh, wow! An ice chicken! How smart! Oh, what a great choice for your ice sculpture, Dr. Pander! It's wonderful! It looks just like them! Glad you like it, Moo. But now I need you to help me with something else. I've got lots of flavors, and I need your help pouring them into the molds. Then I can freeze them in my cart. No worries, Moo. Great! There's no time to lose before the opening. Hoopa, can you make sure the ice sculpture stays in the shade to keep it from melting? Sure! Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. Thanks. Just follow the shadow. the last one. Do you think we've made enough? <laughs> we've made plenty. And there's even jelly left over. Oh, what are we going to do with it all? Let's go and get the ice sculpture. Then we'll figure it out. Hi, Hoopa. We've come to get the sculpture. But where is it? It's melted. You left it in the sun. But that's impossible. I stayed in the shade the whole time. Uh, you're in the shade, Hoopa. But the trolley is in the sun. Oh, no. Mo, this is a disaster. What are we going to do, Dr. Pander? No worries, Moo. We'll come up with something. But what? I don't have an ice sculpture for the opening of my ice pop cart anymore. All I have is my leftover jelly. I'm sorry, Moo. I wish I could do something. We can do something, Hoopa. I have an idea. You do? Yep. You can still have a sculpture, Moo, but this time it'll be made out of jelly instead of ice. A jelly chicken? Exactly. That sounds great. Even better than an ice chicken. Huh? chickens. Whoa! That is one cool chicken. Yep. And Moo's ice pops are even cooler. 
Wanna try one? Yeah! One of each flavor, please! <laughs> oh, that is so yummy! Thanks for making the opening of my ice pop cart such a success, everyone! I couldn't have done it without you! No worries, Moo! We had a lot of fun! Oh, what's up, Toto? <laughs> ice skate! <laughs> oh, I see! You want to go ice skating! Well, that's an adventure for another day! Hi, Dr. Panda! What are you, what are you going, going to do today? today? Hi, everyone! Today, I'm a weather reporter! We work out what the weather is going to be like, and then we tell everyone about it. Hey, where's Toto? Toto is spending the afternoon at the farm with Moo. Oh, okay. It's time to go on TV, Dr. Pander. Are you ready? Yep, all set. In three, two... <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's weather report. Today, it'll be very warm. Ah, I guess I won't need to wear a jacket for my workout later. It will also be very calm, with no wind at all. <laughs> Perfect weather for skateboarding. And finally, our weather equipment tells us there will be no rain. Great! That means I can work on my roof today. And that's the weather report for today. See you tonight for tomorrow's weather. <gasps> you did great, Dr. Panda. Well, with our special weather equipment, how could we go wrong? Uh-oh. <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, something's up with our special weather equipment. Come on! Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's check the thermometer first. It tells us how warm or cold it is. Oh, Mimi, look at this. Oh, how cute. Oh, the mommy bird must have thought this was a good place to keep her eggs warm. Oh, but the nest is also keeping the thermometer warm. Looks like it's a lot colder than we thought. <laughs> I thought Dr. Panda said it would be warm today. I'm freezing. <sighs> Something else is wrong. The wind meter isn't moving. Someone's kite has blown up here and got tangled up with it. Looks like it's quite windy today after all. <gasps> Dr. Panda was wrong! <gasps> This should be moving around, searching the sky for rain clouds. I think it needs some oil. Um, Dr. Panda, didn't you say there wasn't gonna be any rain today? That's right. Today, there will be no rain. Quick, get back inside. finish my building work, so I need to know what the weather is going to be. No worries. Let me check. Wh ah! Oh, my laptop is broken. Mm. Rain and laptops don't mix. I need the laptop to tell me what our equipment is saying about the weather. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what the weather is going to be, Hoopa. 
I guess. I'll just have to guess, I guess. I'm sorry, Hoopa. Oh. Dr. Panda! Dr. Panda! Hi, Toto! Hey, Moo! How did you know it was going to rain today? Our weather report said it was going to be dry. Well, Dr. Pander, I'm a farmer. I always know what the weather's gonna be. You do? Well, what equipment do you use? A thermometer? A satellite dish? <gasps> weather balloons? <laughs> Don't be silly. I can tell from what I see around me on the farm, like the color of the sky or how the chickens behave. Chickens know what the weather is going to be? Oh, you'd be surprised. <gasps> Moo, I think you'd make an excellent TV weather reporter. <gasps> I'll get the camera. In three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to the weather report. We are sorry to have gotten the weather wrong today. But we have a special reporter with a better way of telling the weather. Over to you, Moo. Hmm? Uh, hello. <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, well, there was no fog this morning, and the bees have been out all day, so tomorrow it will be partly cloudy with a slight breeze. And the sky's red, so that means there'll be no rain tomorrow. Great! That's the perfect weather to finish my building work. But the chickens are huddling together to keep warm, so it will also be a bit chilly tomorrow. Don't forget to wear a jumper. I won't. Thank you, Moo, for your excellent weather reporting. It was my pleasure, Dr. Pander. I liked being on TV. Hey, maybe we could do a cooking program together. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be gardeners for Olette. Hello, Dr. Panda. Hi, Toto. Thanks for helping me in my garden. No problem. We love gardening, don't we, Toto? <laughs> yeah. We need to mow the lawn and rake up the cut grass, trim the bushes, prune the tree, and dig holes from our new flowers. Lots to do. And we better get to work. Great. Uh, hey! Hey! Why are you making all that noise? Hi, Ziggy. We're helping Alette with some gardening. Well, can't you do that some other time? I'm trying to read here. You leave Dr. Panda alone, Ziggy. We'll be working in my garden all day. Actually, your garden could use some work as well, by the looks of it. Work? <laughs> nah. If you want your garden nice and tidy, you'll have to do it yourself. Ha! Huh. Sounds like too much work to me. It'll be worth it, though, you'll see. Especially when I plant my new flowers. That reminds me. I have to go to Moose to pick up my new flowers. <laughs> moo! Moo! Hey, why don't you go get them now? Toto can go with you. He loves the farm. Yay! Ah, he finally stopped. Wow, Olette wasn't kidding. Her lawn does look nice. <gasps> If I had a neatly trimmed lawn like that, I could turn it into a golf course and practice my swing. <laughs> Dr. Panda, I lost my keys in the tall grass, and now I can't get back into my house. Can you help me? <laughs> No worries. If we mow your lawn, I'm sure we'll find your keys.
There you go, Ziggy. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Dr. Panda. Yeah, I didn't find your keys, though. Oh, here they are. They were in my pocket all along. <laughs> Silly me. Right. <laughs> Silly you. <laughs> well, I should get back to work in Olette's garden. All you need to do now is rake the lawn. I could, but the ladder's over there. Ah, thank you, Olette. Hi, Olette, Dr. Panda. Did my ball uh, come this way? Yes, along with the rest of your garden. <laughs> May I come into your garden and take my shot, please? I have to play from where the ball lands. It's the rules. Of course you can. But I'm afraid your ball is buried under all this mess. Perhaps Dr. Panda would like some well-deserved lemonade while you try to find your ball. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Great job, Ziggy! Did you find your golf ball? No, I didn't. Where shall I plant my beautiful flowers? Hey, isn't this your ball, Ziggy? Huh? <gasps> Leave it there! Can't you play golf in your own garden? The shot must be played from where the ball lands. Let me take it, and I'll be gone. Let him take it, Olette. I've seen him play golf. Trust me, you might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Looking good, Ziggy. Go for it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh! Yes! Did you see that? Great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Dr. Panda. And now Ziggy has dug the perfect bed for my new flowers. No worries. Perhaps you could give Ziggy some golf lessons. <laughs> golf! <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. What, what are, are you going, going to, to do today? Oh, I know! You're a police officer! <laughs> Almost! Today, I'm a traffic director! Oh, that sounds very important. Yep, it is important. Traffic directors make sure cars, trucks, and people drive safely along the road. Yay! And here's something to help me. <whistles> oh, hi, Toto! Do you want to practice the special traffic signals with me? Okay, let's see. Ahem. Stop, listen, look, and go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and now it's time for us to go. Hey, 
Hey, Toto, do you remember the special traffic signals? <whistles> Stop. Stop. Listen. Listen. Look. Yeah. Go. Go. Hey, watch this. Huh? Yay. Wow. Whoa. See you guys. Bye, Bib. Your turn, Hoopa. I'll see you on the way back. I'm just off to pick up some bricks. Great. See you later. What's going on? My chickens are everywhere. That's what's going on. Moo! Uh, I think we have a bit of a problem here. Moo! My poor chickens! This is terrible, Dr. Panda. You'll have to help me round them up. I'm happy to help, Moo, but someone needs to look after the crossing. Oh, I can take care of that. Thanks, May May, but you don't know the special traffic signals. You can teach me. How hard can it be? Hurry, Dr. Panda! We need to get my chickens back! Okay, here we go. You need to use stop, listen, look, and go. I've got it. Come on, Dr. Panda! My chickens won't catch themselves! Are you sure you'll be all right, May May? Toto will stay here with you to help. He knows the special traffic signals, too. Yep, don't worry. I'll be fine. Dr. Panda! Don't forget those signals! Let's see, what was stop? I remember stop, listen, look, and go. Perfect! Now a bit faster. Stop, listen, look, and go. Stop, listen, look, and go. <laughs> it's almost like a dance. <gasps> hey, that's an idea! A she doing? Am I supposed to go or, or stop? Go! I don't know. What's going on here? That doesn't look like what Dr. Panda was doing. Go! No, wait, stop! Uh-oh. That's all of the moo. I need to get back to being a traffic director. Whoa, a traffic jam! And a great big mess! How will we ever fix this? Oh. I dropped my load. I'm sorry, Dr. Panda. I don't know how this happened. I do. May May made all the wrong moves. Instead of this, she did this. No, no, no. It was more like this. <laughs> That's nothing like it. It was like this. You mean like this? <laughs> uh, no, I think it was more like this. Oh, I see. So you turned directing traffic into a dance. Mm hmm. Sorry. I guess I got carried away. And you made Hooper spill all his bricks. It's going to take ages to sort this out. Not if we all help. And I know exactly how to speed things up. May May, you're going to have to teach us how to do your dance properly. <laughs> Ready, everyone? A one, two, three, four.
ッタWatch out! The road really gets rocky further up the mountain. Okay, thanks. See you later, Hoopa. See ya. Ready, steady, drill! Uh oh! Uh. I think we hit a rock, Toto. Ah, oh, phew. At least the eggs are okay. Flat. Yep, very flat. But no worries. I'll have it fixed in no time. First, we lift up the truck uh, using this. It's called a jack. Uh, uh, uh. And after that, we take the old tire off. Look, there's the hole. But I can patch this up and it'll be good as new. <laughs> See? It's like a balloon. Balloon! Now I can put the tire on. And we can get going. All done. <laughs> I think we're past the hardest bit. We're almost there, Toto. There's the river! Oh, 
All we have to do is cross the bridge and drive down to Leo's place. Uh-oh! Look! Oh, those tree trunks must have fallen from the bridge and floated over to Leo's. Hmm, the truck will never fit on the bridge now. I guess I'll just have to carry the eggs across instead. I'll be right back, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no! It's no good, Toto. I can't go that way. I might break all the eggs. Ah, oh, how will I get them to Leo now? Hmm, maybe there's something in the truck we can use. Balloon! Oh, sorry, Toto. This is no time to play with your balloon. Huh? Hmm. Aha! I think I know how to get the eggs to Leo. the bridge to tell Leo his delivery is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dr. Panda. I was wondering where my delivery had got to. Where has it got to? Well, we couldn't drive over the bridge, Leo, so we sent it by river. Ooh, good thinking, Dr. Panda. Any eggs broken? Nope. All of them are still perfect. Oh, Moo will be so happy to hear that. Hey, <laughs> good. Then it's time to break them. Huh? Well, I'm making scrambled eggs for lunch. Ooh, why don't you and Toto stay and eat with me? That sounds great. But where is Toto? <laughs> oh, I see. You want to go swimming. Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. First, we'll have lunch with Leo. Yay! See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you, what are you going, going to do today? today? Hi, everyone. Here, let me give you a hint. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. <laughs> are you on the radio? Yes. Or I will be as soon as my radio show starts. When that light is on, everyone in Panda City can hear me on their radio. All I have to do is speak into this microphone and play music. <laughs> <laughs> That's for playing old records, Toto. But all the music we need is on this computer, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the red light wasn't on, Toto, or everyone in Panda City would have heard your noises. <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering, can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today, 
And there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy June a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo and her chickens. This is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. Oh, oh no. The song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. Maybe it's on one of the old records in the storage room. Uh, uh, that was great. Thanks, Moo. Next up, a uh, uh, song for Hoopa. This is the Rolling Bricks with Fill Me Up. <laughs> oh, that was just in time, Toto. I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record. <laughs> the record we need must be in here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, nope, not here either. Hey, maybe Ziggy can help. Yeah, hello. Ziggy, uh, do you still have those boxes of old records in your garage? I think so. Great, I'll come over right after I put on a new song. You gotta build it up. <laughs> uh, this next song is for Bip. It's Sam Simeon with Monkey on My Mind. Awesome! Oh, I have to be back before the song ends. Hey, if I listen to my show on my phone, I'll know exactly when the song's about to end. Oh! oh. Hi, Leo. I'm sorry, I, I haven't played your request yet. <sighs> I'm having a hard time finding a present for June. Mm -hmm. I'd love to help, Her but... Her taste is very particular, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo. I gotta go. Uh, uh, hi, Ziggy. Are these the boxes? Yep, these are all the records I've got. Is this the one? Oh, yes, that's it. Oh, thank you, Ziggy. Great. I think we can make a deal. How about I play a request for you? Can you play me something by Piggy Pug? Sure, anything you like. <laughs> Whoa! Deal! <sighs> this next song is for Ziggy. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh, I found it, Toto. Tick tock. Oh, no. My show is almost over. There's not enough time to play Leo's song for June. What do I do now? Hmm. That's all the songs I have time to play today, folks. But I have one last message for June. Oh. Come meet Leo and me in the park for a special birthday surprise. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Dr. Panda, I haven't found a present for June yet. I have nothing to give her. Ah, but you do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. Hi, you two. What's this all about, then? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love this song. Thank you, Leo. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> run, run. Ooh, <laughs> I think I've done enough running for today, Toto. So, 
That's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye.